like more tips on painting, please subscribe to my channel to check out my upcoming videos. Welcome back. Today, I am going to paint a beautiful landscape painting. In this painting, we will have a mountain, hills and water running down through the gorges making a waterfall. I will also talk about aerial perspective which is also known as atmospheric perspective. I will also be talking about the process of my work. In landscape painting, aerial perspective means range of lightness to darkness. Closer the subject, darker it will be, and farther the subject, lighter it will be. In this painting, the mountain will be very light in color because it is the farthest subject in our painting. The color of the mountain in this painting is similar to that of the sky. The dark tone of blue at one side and the light tone of yellow on the other. In front of the mountain, we'll have some rocky mountains. Since the rocky mountain is closer than the mountain, it will be dark in color. In this painting, I will be using painting brushes more than palette knife. As you can see, I have not mixed the colors properly on palette so that I can get various tones of colors right on the first coat. You can see bluish, brownish and grey stone right on the first coat that is covering rough sketches of canvas. To give the rocky mountain more dimension, I am highlighting it with soft tone of yellow. After giving mid tone and highlights, I will be adding some dark tone on it to make it more beautiful. And to give dark tone, I am using my thin round brush. Rocky mountain looks great after adding them. Now I'll try to make it better by adding some green color which gives the essence of some green grasses. I will also add some highlights to make it more beautiful. I'll make a green land just below the rocky mountain. For this, I'm using my fan brush and putting some light tone of green. It is not hard to make a green land which is very far away. Just like I told in my previous video, we can finish it within 3 to 4 tones.
after giving some shapes to green line, I am moving to another white part of the canvas. Since this subject is closer than mountain and rocky mountain, it has to be dark in color. So, I am using my palette knife again to cover the white part of canvas. Now, with my thin round brush, I'll give highlights to it and make some grasses just like I did in Rocky Mountains before. Do not give highlights everywhere as it will make your painting look ugly. some green lines and giving the impression of some green grasses over there. I am leaving some white spaces between those two rocky mountains so that I can make river running through gorges. make that rocky mountain more natural, I am adding some depth to it and I am using some direct black to do it. After adding some depth, now it's time to make a rework. Painting a good light accent will make a painting better. I will make a huge rock at that place now. After making rocks, now, I'll be making a green land again. This time, I'm applying flat green tone on blank spaces. This time, I will also make the edge of green land on the right side of the blank canvas. After shaping the green land, now, I'll move towards the pond. We will have two small waterfalls in this painting. First one falling down through the gorges and second one falling down through the pond.
at this part of painting we will have a cliff disappearing in mist. This side will have the top part of forest trees. Again, with my fan brush, I am making small grasses and red bush at the right side of painting. Mixing some yellow, white and green, now I am making a grass on the green field. will have some other colors as well so that it can give effect of some tiny little flowers. After working on green fields, now it's time to make a cliff disappear in mist. Now, I am adding more details on cliff rocks. For this, we just need to pull random lines with round and thin brush. Highlighting the top part of trees will enhance the painting more. To make waterfall, I am just taking white color in fan brush and pulling it downwards. And that easy step makes waterfall. Now, I start giving finishing touch everywhere in the painting. And it's always good to use very thin brush for the finishing. I am mixing very little white with water and applying that color on the dried area of rocky mountain to send it more far from dark rocky mountain which has waterfall. If your painting is not dry then do not use this technique else it will spoil your painting. I hope you enjoyed this painting lesson. Please comment below and let me know 
whether this painting tutorial was helpful or not. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe our candy. Thank you. Have a nice time. Stay good. Stay safe. Bye bye.